Hello and welcome back to Loch Ness. We are now in the village of Drum the Drocket and we're off on this nice walk up a hill. Well, hopefully give us some beautiful bird's eye views of the loch and some nice vantage points just to sit and relax. I've never done this walk before. It's meant to be beautiful and it eventually leads up to a waterfall which I actually have been to before. <laughs> I've not brought my camera with me because it's middle of the afternoon and I just want to enjoy this, have a bit of a, a chilled out time and I'm also going to learn more about my clan while we're up here because if you watched the last video where we went to Uckert Castle you will know that we bought a book about the clan grants and I want to go up here to some nice viewpoints and overlook the beautiful Loch Ness to learn about my clan where so many people in that clan lived and resided near Uckert Castle many, many years ago. I think it's a very nice place to come and a very nice way to spend an afternoon here in the Scottish Highlands. Look at the size of this redwood tree. Unfortunately not native to Scotland, but it's still beautiful to see it nevertheless. Wow, it is huge! Because we've just been to Uckert Castle and I'm now walking through this woodland near the castle, I almost feel like I'm about to, I feel like I'm part of a clan and an army and I'm about to invade another clan's <laughs> castle. It sounds a bit silly but I think once you've been in one of these historic buildings you almost feel like you've been transported back in time and you're now living in that era and to think that these woodlands back in the olden days, although they probably didn't exist, there was other woodlands around here which a lot of the clans and the armies would have hidden in and used to come and invade castles and I just think it's amazing. What we're trying to do just now is there's an old ancient hill fort up here somewhere. Unfortunately a lot of the paths today are closed because the forest commission are cutting down trees which is a little bit frustrating especially because the work finishes in about two days time so we're two days too early. So I'm really hoping that the diversion is still going to take us to this hill fort and the beautiful views so that when I get up to the top I can show you the stunning view of Loch Ness as well as this hill fort, learn a bit more about it and learn about my, my clan as well which I'm really looking forward to. To. Oh, let's carry on. It's quite a quite a steep walk, but hopefully we'll be rewarded as I say at the top, and I'll catch us all very shortly. Well I suppose that now is as good a time as any to sit down and learn about my clan and I've already just started reading this, it's really interesting. So the Grant clan, our motto was stand fast and our territory was Strath, Spey and Rothy Mercus, which is great because I love that part of the country in the Cairngorms National Park of course, beautiful, in fact it looks very similar to what we've got in front of us today. But what I like the most, or what I find most interesting, is where the clan originated from. And there's loads of different theories as to where the clan came from, as I'm sure it's the same with all clans. But it says, according to one record, recording in a manuscript history of the clan written in the 18th century, the Grants were descendants of the Norse god Odin, apparently. That's just one theory. But the next one's not so nice. It says, the Gaelic explanation of the name is not so flattering. 
It was supposed to come from the old word ganter or ugly and to have been given to the first grants because of the size of their nose. Well, I've got to say I was told when I was in school that I had a very small button nose, so it's, it's good to see that I've not inherited that big nose trait of the original grants. The early grants must have been strong warriors, for in the lawless north you had to be strong to survive. That's great to hear. Let me read some more and I'll get back to you very shortly. This is very, very interesting. learn very much more about my clan other than a few wars and battles that they were involved in but what I did just discover is that this viewpoint that we're on just now is actually the fort. I just thought it was a viewpoint but that's great. Unfortunately there's not any information about it up here but it's something that I'll have to look into when I get to my hotel tonight and get some wi-fi and see if I can find some information out about it because it'd be interesting to know what this fort was used for and why it was here. It's obviously a great lookout point to see about anybody coming to invade over the loch but apart from that it'd be interesting to know what clan it was associated with and what its purpose was. We're now heading back down the hill, see if we can find some more interesting views. Well we had a very uneventful walk back down the hill but we've arrived at our hotel, we've just had some tea in the bar, very very delicious and we're now off for a walk down to the edge of Loch Ness a place I've never been to before. There's a walk down one of the, the housing estates that takes you right to a bay, I believe it's called. And I'm hoping it'll be a nice evening walk just to settle our stomachs after tea <laughs> and a great way to unwind before bedtime. It's, it's really been exciting today because I've been to Loch Ness many, many times, but I'm normally just passing through where I just stop for, you know, a quick bite to eat or a toilet stop. It's very rare that I actually stay here and get to explore, and today I've done two things I've never done before, and I've only been to Ackert Castle once and I was really young and can't really remember it, so being able to actually explore an area that I'm used to driving through is pretty exciting. And I've always wanted to go to the loch's edge of Loch Ness, to a part that not many people go to, to see the natural beauty from somewhere other than the roadside viewpoints and the castle. So I'm really interested about this, I'm really looking forward to it. And of course, as always, I'm going to take you guys with us finish off this video by the beautiful loch just in time to go to bed before we head to the Isle of Skye tomorrow which is going to be very very exciting. <laughs> get to the loch's edge. The loch is just through this gap here where this rivery stream goes through which is a real shame. I really wanted to go and see the loch from a different viewpoint tonight but never mind we're at this inlet we're gonna skim some stones before heading back to the hotel and just enjoy being out in nature and enjoying this and being in a part of of um, the highlands that I've never really explored properly before. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. This has just been a good video of exploring somewhere new and learning a little bit more about my clan. Tomorrow, as I said earlier, we are <laughs> you're in the back of the video looking for stuff. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. <laughs> Tomorrow we're heading to Sky and while I'm over there I'm doing a collaboration with a holiday rental company Cottages to Castles which I'm so excited about I can't wait to share that with you and I've also got two workshops as well which I'm really looking forward to and I'm going to go to some parts of the island that I've never been to before some little bit less well-known places a little bit away from the the more iconic ones as well as going to a few of the iconic ones along the way super excited for that and then it's my birthday in two days time as well which is really exciting too so I look forward to, to doing that and I hope you'll all join me on that adventure. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. When you're out and about going somewhere that you've maybe been to before, try and look for those hidden gems like this, which you didn't know existed. Get out and embrace it. And hopefully, I'll see you all again next time. What a place. Although it's going to get dark soon and I'm really worried about like gremlins and that in the, in the forest. I'm worried we're going to get attacked and like abducted by the ghosts of Loch Ness. 
What if the monster comes? Ed, what if the monster comes? Oh my god, what's that noise? Oh, what if it's a monster? Back this way. Yeah, no, but seriously, like the monster's not been seen. The Loch Ness monster's not been seen for so many years. It's become a, no, it, well, it's just I'm wondering if it's living in the woodland, that's why nobody's ever seen it. Yeah. Oh my god, what's that noise? What's noise? Ah! Will Kim make it out of Loch Ness alive? Oh or will Nessie grab her and keep her in the forest forever? <laughs> She will, she's a grant after all. The Loch Ness monster ain't no match for me. I'll see you all again on Sky. Come on, Ed! Wait, wait for me!